Thank you very much. I'm going to talk about Addis Ababa, and I will not be comfortable if I'm not going to uh, talk about why our grandfathers and the grandmothers named Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa means the new flower, the flower that shines throughout the year, the flower that has green leaf, the flower that has a fragrant smell. This name has a great implication regarding the way we think, the way we do, the way we plan Addis Ababa because as the name indicates, it has, to be it has to be green on one hand, it has to be clean on the other hand, and it has to be attractive like the flower, which is the king of the gift, the sign of the love, the sign of the security. Saying this, uh, um, uh, I'm going to speak on shaping Addis Ababa's future. And uh, we received, or we got Addis Ababa from our grandfathers, and when they give us this city with this very interesting name, they just um, expect that and they emphasize that we are going to make the city that attracts us, not only Ethiopians, not only Africans, but also the world wide. And we want to bring a paradigm shift. The principle says uh, learning by doing, but rather we believe that we are going to do through proper learning. And Addis Ababa will not be the place where, where we are going to exercise the first instances, the first experiments, because every success regarding urbanization that we are going to achieve in Addis Ababa has a great implication for every urbanization activity that is going on in our country. And it is with taking into consideration these things that we are going to um, shape Addis Ababa. So it will be a good place to live, work, and uh, enjoy. And, uh, we can achieve this uh, conducive place to live, work, and enjoy through having the master plan. We have the 10th master plan, which is in use uh, and in implementation since 2017. And at the core of this master plan is increasing green area coverage, because the green areas are the uh, very interesting things where the life will enjoy what it demands for existence, and the development of polycentric city, uh, development of the master transit system, that is, we are going to have the TOD and the provision of affordable and standard housing. Regarding what we are facing as a challenge here in Addis Ababa is housing. And we believe that this, the issue of housing, is not only a challenge, it is also an opportunity if we are going to properly work on it. And we have also a paradigm shift in the way we are going to approach housing because we are going to engage the public-private partnership for affordable housing, and we are going to also use the mixed residential use in any housing activities that we are going to undertake. And many of the buildings that are going to be constructed in Addis Ababa has to take into account the issue of uh, housing. The other thing is the green areas that we have, the greeneries are shrinking, and over the last 30 years, we lost half of our green areas, and we have to be very much concerned about it, and we never let the deterioration of the green areas and through the master plan, the master plan, we are going to increase the per capita green areas from 0 0.3 where it is now to 0 0.7, 0 0.9 per capita. Regarding the other challenge that we are facing is about the transportation issue, and we are going to take serious investment and the consideration on the uh, BRT and the LRT, because as Dr. Salomon, uh, before the tea break, was mentioning the mini buses, uh, we cannot easily get out of that trap, but in the long run or in the medium run, we are going to invest much on the MRT. Um, the other thing that we are facing is both solid and the liquid waste management issues, and we are working to manage the solid waste at the household level and to recycle these solid wastes so that solid wastes will not be only the source of the problem. They can be also the source of renewable energy. It is through this approach that we are working on addressing these solid waste management problems. The other thing is traffic congestion. The traffic congestion that we are facing today demands on one hand short-term remedial actions like going through the regulations, 
uh, the standards through which these transport systems are going to operate and the medium uh, and the long term investments that we have to undertake regarding the infrastructure. The other thing is um, we are going to uh, work on creation of mass transit as a backbone connecting the main center with the sub-centers. In any of the development activities that we are going to undertake, we have to be very much concerned about connectivity and about mobility. And the other thing is creation of green space for the creation and the environmental purpose. In many areas, we are working on the rehabilitation of the green spaces so that the green space on one hand uh, will uh, help us not to seriously face the urban challenges, rather it will be a place where jobs can be created, a place where individuals can uh, recreate. The other problem that we are uh, facing is job creation. These are the phase of the Addis Ababa youth who are operating through small and micro enterprises and they are our future industrialists. And the small and the micro enterprises where they are operating is where they get the necessary skill through proper and strategic training of uh, through the technical and vocational educational uh, training. And after they uh, acquire the necessary capital and the necessary skill, they will be transformed towards the uh, engagement in the industrial parks. And we also give much attention to indigenous knowledge so that the Ethiopians, particularly those who are living in the Addis Ababa, the youth, even those who didn't go to school, can prepare the handcrafts and by preparing and selling the handcrafts, they can enjoy their life, their livelihood can be uh, transformed. And in our recent urban development program, like that of Lagahar, we build humanity through the project. We are going to build humanity, not the project, because we want to bring a paradigm shift that in the development, we are not going to displace people. Rather, we are going to replace their livelihood to the better one, to the betterment. And what we are going to do is Addis Ababa no more have a very serious horizontal expansion. And many of the redevelopment that we are going to take will be in the uh, inner city and humanity and the residents are at the core of the development activities that we are going to undertake. Thank you very much.